Okay, so the size dress that we're making is going to be zero three months. So what I'm going to do is go to my size charts here. And for zero three months, I'm gonna go with the three months measurement. That way it fits up to three months. And from the waist to crotch is five inches. And then from the crotch to ankle is an additional two inches. So I'm going to make, I'm going to aim to have um, the length be six inches. So when I'm cutting my tool, I'm going to want to make it 12 inches long and maybe just a slightly over because I'm going to be tying it in a knot. Um, and that way, when it's folded in half, it will create the correct length for the dress, okay? So I have my colors of tool. For my unicorn, I do the pastel rainbow, so I have my pink, purple, my blue, green, and yellow. Okay, I have my cutting mat, and then my Fiskars tool here. It has a blade with a retractable cover, and I can use this to measure and cut the tool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Again, I wanna have the um, tool be just over 12 inches. And actually, I might even make it 13 inches because it will get tied in a knot. And then I wanna make sure it's still long enough. Okay, so I'm gonna measure to 13 inches. Make sure you can see this here. And then the tool's kind of hard to see and I'm just gonna cut along my mat here. So I'm gonna retract that blade and then just cut along my mat. And my piece of tool is cut. And this is the pink. It's really hard to see when you just have one piece. but And you're gonna to wanna to try to keep your tool organized by color because it does get mixed up and it's really hard to see when you just have a few pieces of what color it is. So you're going to go ahead and do that for each piece. Now I believe the roll is six inches wide, so I'll show you in a moment how to cut it when you have um, that when you buy a tool by the yard. Okay, so you just do that for each color. I'm not sure how many pieces you would end up needing, but I can, um, when I'm done with mine, I'll make sure I have an approximate number in the bottom um, in the notes for you so that you know. So I'll add up what I end up using and share that with you. So by the time you're watching this, you'll have that information. Okay, so you're just gonna do this for each color. Now, it's going to be the same um, for me with these because they're all the six inch wide rolls. But now for the tool that I purchased by the yard, go ahead and, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just, now remember this, it doesn't have to be perfect, your measurements. Um, you want the length to be the same, but if some of the strips are a little wider than six inches, that's not gonna be a big deal. So I'm just gonna cut down, have it folded in half here. I'm gonna cut down this length and then I'll cut it into six inch strips. And just try to keep it straight. Let's get this over so you can see that. Continue cutting here. I highly recommend getting the mat and one of these tools. Um, I can link to them below for you. It is so much easier than cutting the tool with scissors. Okay, so I have this length now, and I know that it is 13 inches long. So I'm just gonna fold it in half here. And let's see if I fold it in half. 
it ends up being just over 12 inches. So I'm just going to cut down the middle. If you can see that here, the numbers at top. So if I cut it down the middle, and then I'll have to obviously cut the ends that are folded so it's each individual sheets, but they'll end up being about six inches wide. Okay, so then take the individual sheets, the parts that are folded up, and go ahead and cut them right down the middle. Stack up your blue sheets together. So it really doesn't matter whether you buy the tool on the roll or by the yard. Um, I guess it just depends on what type of tool you'd like to use. Unfortunately, I, did, I bought this a while ago, so I don't remember. But it is fairly soft, so... And I bought this at Joanne Fabrics, the blue. And then I can show you um, packaging from the tool. So it's 100% polyester tool. I did purchase this at AC Moore, so depending on where you live, you may or may not have a store near you. But I can link to similar colors below for you if you like the pastel rainbow color look. Okay, so now I showed you how to cut the um, tool that comes in a roll and then the tool that comes by the yard. So go ahead and finish cutting however many strips you need and we'll come back and I will show you how to assemble the tutu onto your crochet top. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, this is the front of the dress. I'm gonna start over here on the left side of the dress and work this way, okay? So I'm gonna go to the end and I'm going to insert my crochet hook from the inside towards the outside, right underneath that single crochet. In each single crochet, I'm going to place three pieces of tulle. So for each stitch, I will lay my three pieces in front of me. So one, two, three. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach the first piece of tulle. So right there in that single crochet, insert your hook. Okay, you're going to bring, so you'll fold your tulle in half, place the loop on your crochet hook and pull that through okay now you want to open up that loop and pull the tool through it and tie it in a knot now I am going to place two more pieces of tool in that same stitch and the reason I'm not doing them all together at the same time is because it ends up being too bulky and you don't want to have a space between your single crochet and where the tool starts because you won't have enough coverage then. So you're going to just do three pieces separately into the same stitch. So again, I'm going to fold this in half, pull it through, and tie it in a knot. And you can mess around with that and tighten it. And this will really fill in, so as you go along, you'll see how it very quickly fills in. Okay, and then the third piece for that single crochet. Okay, pull that tool through. Make sure it's not on top of the other pieces. Okay. Now, remember each color is going to cover 18 stitches. So this is my first stitch of pink. So I'm gonna count over. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. So this is the nineteenth stitch here. So I'll go ahead and continue put a placing pink in these stitches here. Oh, my dog's barking at somebody. All right, so for this next stitch, one, two, three, okay. And 
Remember your, your crochet hook goes, you start on the inside and then pull it through because you want your loops, the knot to be on the outside. It just looks neater. Okay, and pull your tool through, make a knot. You want that knot to be small. Okay, and you're going to place two more in the same stitch. Looks like I skipped over a stitch there, so I'll have to go back and fill that in. That's okay. Okay, one more in this stitch. Pull it through. So it's one, two, three. So let me go back to this stitch here. So again, from the out, inside out to the front, grab my three pieces. One, two, three. And I'll attach those three pieces. Be very careful that you're not pulling any other ends through, okay? Just those two. It will get harder to work with as you go along, so just take your time. So you're just going to do this all the way around. Now if you're changing colors like I am, when you get to the next section, so I'll continue with pink until I get here. I'm going to start with purple here. So I'll take the stitch marker off, I'll place me three purple pieces of tool in that stitch and then I'll count over again and mark the 19th stitch which is the se section that I'll start next, okay? So make sure that each color if you're doing five colors like I am for the zero three months dress you are putting the tool each color tool in 18 stitches okay and then again for the three six months dress you put it in 19 stitches and for one color you're gonna put it in 20 stitches and you will never notice okay so I hope this video was helpful to show you how to attach tool to the bottom of a dress um, I also have another style unicorn dress that uses the same pastel colors. That's really pretty, so I'll link to that below. And if you have any questions, comments, um, suggestions, please leave that in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.